hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem a to the power of 4 plus a to the power of 2 equals 20 okay so what do we do the first step is to bring 20 to the left so we have a to the power of 4 plus a to the power of 2 minus 20 equals 0. Then the next step is to break this 20 so that we can be able to factorize. And I will have a to the power of 4 plus a to the power of 2 minus open bracket 20 here can be 16 plus 4 and then this is equal to 0 I'm using 16 and 4 because 16 and 4 can be expressed in this form now let's open the bracket we have a to the power of 4 plus a to the power of 2 minus 16 minus 4 equals 0 now there will be need for us to regroup so that we can have a to the power of 4 minus 16 plus a to the power of 2 minus 4 okay so this is what we shall do and we can write 16 to the power of 4 or better still let me break this down we have from a to the power of 2 to the power of 2 this is for a to the power of 4 alone minus now this 16 here is 4 squared right then plus okay open bracket we have a squared minus 2 squared because 4 is 2 squared now what do we do from here everything is equal to zero i didn't do that here okay so we are supposed to use um difference of two squares because we can find difference of two squares here and we can also find it here to apply difference of two squares here we'll have a squared minus four into a squared plus four close this and I believe you can understand what I did plus here again I'll apply the same difference of two squares a minus 2 close this then we have a plus 2 then we equate everything to 0 then by looking at this we can equally express this you know using difference of two squares so we will be having um a squared minus two squared okay then in the second bracket we have a squared plus four plus open bracket a minus two into a plus two equals zero now we have another difference of two squares here right so i can't say a minus 2 into a plus 2 okay into a squared plus 4 okay then we have plus a minus 2 into a plus plus 2 equals 0. from here now we can factorize we have a minus 2 a minus 2 right and we equally have okay we have a minus 2 a plus 2 a minus 2 a plus 2 so this becomes the common factor okay i think it's simpler now right so a minus 2 into a plus 2 this is our common factor so let it come out then here we'll have just a squared plus 4 right let's have this in bracket then plus remember that 
<clears throat> the whole of this the whole of this is already out so we have one over there and equate to zero so from here what can i do if you have a minus 2 a plus 2 it is a perfect square so we can express this as a squared right minus 4 let's have this as our factor then here now we're having a squared plus 5 because if you open the bracket you have 4 plus 1 and that is 5 then equate this to 0 now what do we do apply zero product rule so it is either a squared minus 4 is equal to 0 or a squared plus 5 equals 0 a squared is equal to 0 plus 4 or a squared is equal to 0 minus 5 right okay let's continue okay so from here a squared is equal to 4 or a squared is equal to minus 5 okay we are to bring out both the real and the complex solutions right so from here now we will take the square root of both sides square root of a squared we are taking the square root of both sides so that we can remove the square and this will be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 or we take the square root of a squared and it should be equal to plus or minus square root of minus 5 and then from here square root and square will go so a is equal to plus or minus square root of 4 that will be plus or minus 2 or on this side um, this and this will go a will now be equal to plus or minus square root of 5 multiplied by square root of negative 1 I just picked out the negative so that I can get the square root of 5 if I want to now a here is equal to plus or minus 2 or a is equal to plus or minus i root 5 because square root of negative 1 is imaginary and we'll write just i so let's bring the four solutions together we have a1 from here that is 2 we have a2 and it's minus 2 that is from here then we have a3 which is from there we have um, i root 5 then a4 is still from there and that will be negative i root 5 so these are the four solutions to the problem both real and complex solutions